Hola amigos, it's Will here for Worst Custom Figures coming at you today with a big bad breakdown of the one, the only, Marvel Legends Jackal. So please sit back and relax while I talk to you everything to do with this figure and everything else in between. So firstly, why did I make it? Well, to me, the Jackal, it was a nice little size comparison against Egghead, the recently revealed Egghead. Um, for me, he was one of those characters that really got me into looking into the comic books and the artwork that surrounds the Marvel Universe. And of course, who is he going to uh, rival with in one of his arch nemesis or one of Spider-Man's arch nemesis? None other than Peter Parker. But when I did my research and I looked into this guy and all of the little intricacies of his character, I kind of felt like the Marvel Legends figure wasn't quite what I wanted from my Jackal. So I skipped him. I didn't get him. And I was very, very gutted I didn't get him because uh, it's not an easy figure to come past um, on the on the secondary market, you know, such as uh, eBay or Facebook and whatnot, without spending a pretty penny. Now, what I ended up doing was doing a little bit of research into him. So for anybody that doesn't know, he was actually a professor in biochemistry and he was mentored by High Evolutionary to make something called the Manjackal, which I'm assuming is a sort of a similar version to this awesome looking character. Turns out, Brutal story, man, awful backstory. His wife and kids get killed. He becomes unstable and then he becomes obsessed with one of his students. None of that than Peter Parker's missus, Gwen Stacy. Here we go. Here's a nice school photo shot. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Love this face. It's so evil. So um, just to educate you guys a little bit more, I'm sure you already know, but Gwen Stacy was his student anyway. And uh, that's, of course, Peter Parker's girlfriend. And when she got killed, he blamed Spider-Man for it. And he started making clones, started going crazy, and he turned himself into this abomination. Now, here is, just for the background, a couple of other characters. Here's a recent custom that you might have seen on this channel. I'll zoom out in a minute. There is Craven the Hunter, and there is... Iron Man. Let me just make sure he looks pretty cool in the background there. Okay, and uh, one of the reasons I decided to make this figure, as you can see, this is actually the Marvel Legends head sculpt, was because I loved the figure that they put out, but it didn't have these butterfly shoulders. I wanted him to look creepy, like... But his shoulder and, and chest limitations really didn't mean that I could get him in the poses that I wanted to get him in. So this is actually the living laser body. And I used a Dremel drill to drill the whole thing from top to bottom. I managed to get the jackal head and to get the jackal legs, which I was really pleased with. Um, the hands, oh God, I'm going to have to um, skip on that one. But the hands were sort of like grabbing hands. Um... I'm pretty sure they might have come with somebody like Thor or someone like that. But either way, I'm really happy with the with the hands, how they turned out. No, nope, they are wild child hands. Yes, they are. So um, I added a little bit of uh, sculpting detail all over the body, as you can see. And um, really happy with how it's turned out. Even on the hands, he's got like this little furry texture. And uh, the good news is, with working on this guy, of course, the, fe the head sculpt was so good. As you can see, the legs are absolutely badass. Hasbro did a good job of uh, texturing the legs. And I've done my best job of, of doing this. So I've cut away extra plastic underneath here. And I've also cut away plastic here on the back. So when I move it, it doesn't rub too much. And also he can be articulated. So um, as you can see here, I can still move him. I can move the, th this forwards to change him into different poses. And the paint doesn't scratch off because I've took the time to get all these little bits right. And here we go, guys, coming back at you here with uh, Spidey and Craven. I just wanted two of the iconic characters from uh, from what I see as Spider-Man's story. Jackal, Craven, they're my versions. They're custom figures, as you already know. If you haven't seen my Craven video, please go back and check it out. But I wanted them in my mind's eye in my collection. And I'm so pleased with how it's turned out. Let's bring a little bit of Iron Man in, just for some uh, extra, uh, extra love from... Uh, the wider 616 universe and here is 
the one and only Egghead as well. So I hope you've liked this video. I hope you've liked my version of the Jackal. I did this a little while ago before I started changing my figures to make sure that they had pinless joints. So apologies that there are pins on there and little imperfections. But man, I, I really like this. I painted the whole body in a lime green by Vallejo as well. And these little shorts are perfect because... Um, of course the living laser doesn't have uh, any kind of clothing or anything so they fit perfectly on and I just pop the legs on there pop lasers legs off um, and uh, the head fit on perfectly as do most Marvel Legends in case anyone's interested this awesome looking Spider-Man um, web uh, shooter here is from one of my friends Stuart um, he sent this to me using a 3D pen and uh, made that and it's, it's awesome you just pull the hand out pop it in put the hand back in and this <laughs> is so so badass so guys if you like this video please like comment subscribe let me know in the comment section below if you like this video or if you want one of your own i can always re replicate this for anybody that watches this channel and is interested and if you haven't already please like uh, comment and subscribe let me know on facebook instagram or here on youtube what you think of this video and from me from the one and only the mad biochemist himself the Jackal, I have a surprise for you guys. I have high evolutionary custom coming in the next week or two. So stay tuned and we can do a bit of a comparison into the Jackal's mentor and his teacher from uh, when he was a nice normal civilian and nice guy. So guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Adios from me and the Spider-Man universe.